this is a really good lesson for beginners because I don't know anything. So <laughs> then you won't feel funny with asking questions. Today, I'm teaching my mom how to edit pictures of me as a kid in Photoshop. Woo! That's right. How exciting. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to a special edition of Flurn. I'm away from the computer because you're gonna be doing everything today. Have you ever used Photoshop? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna show you that whether you used Photoshop ever in your life or not, you can use it to make your images better. Uh, you can download this image on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. All right, you ready to get Jump this? Jump into Photoshop. <laughs> so here we are in Photoshop. Go ahead and click on that open button on the bottom right there, that blue one. Yeah. Okay, now let's hit F on your keyboard for full screen. So F, perfect. What do you want to do first? Rotate it. Rotate it, that's a good call. You see on that gray bar where it says yeah. image? And then you want to click on 90 degrees clockwise. Oh. Can you tell everyone a little bit about this picture? This was taken, I think Aaron was about four. And this was taken when we had a trip. You can talk into the to, camera. Oh, yes. We had took a trip to Boston, where I'm from, and we went to the Boston Natural Science Museum. And this was one of the children's exhibits. And of course, Aaron took it to a new level. <laughs> I decided I was going to be a sea turtle that day. Yes. So I'm seeing a little line. You see that white line on the left there? We just used a scanner, but there's a little bit too much. So we're going to crop it. Okay. okay, we're gonna crop this a little bit. Oh, that's not how we do it. So oh. if you make a mess, if you make a mistake in Photoshop, no big deal. Hit Command right here and then hit Z. Boop! Look at that. You just did an undo. Oh. Very easy. So let's go ahead and grab our crop tool. It's yeah, that right there. Go ahead and click on that. That's the crop tool. And then look at you're a natural. Oh, oh. it's okay. You can click that left corner, the bottom left corner, and click and drag. Okay, now how much should we do? It's up to you. You're the Photoshop uh, okay. wizard today. Since, of course, it's my child, I would like to... You want to get closer. Yeah. I want to see that cute little boy even more. <laughs> and look at that. You're using the rule of thirds. You see where those lines intersect? Yeah. You see how they're intersecting right on my face? Yeah. So you want your subject to fall in the intersection of two of those lines. So you actually... So I'm a natural. You're a natural. <laughs> you nailed it. You see in the brown area? Yeah. With that rug, you see that little thing peeking out of the side? Right there. Well, let's get rid of that, but I don't want to change the crop. Click and hold and go to where it says spot healing brush tool. Oh, At the yeah. very top. Okay. So this is, if you want to, <laughs> it's okay, let go. <laughs> you can see it trying to remove everything. So. Woo! Do we do Yep, we want to click on that again, again. band-aid again, so. And keep your hand on, keep, keep it. Nope. No, okay. You don't have to click on anything. Okay. But what you want to do is click on the thing you want to remove. So go ahead and click on that thing. <gasps> Perfecto, this bomb. You just removed it. The next thing, we got some red eye in this picture. Can yeah. you see my eyes are a oh, little yeah. bit red? We were using oh, an yeah. on-camera flash here. Yeah. So let's see if we can zoom into the picture even more. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> There we're we go. We're in big trouble. See where it says spot healing brush three times? Yeah. That's because you did it three times. So just oh. click on the first one. Yeah. Boom. Oh, thank you. That was wonderful. Yeah, you're never yes. going to permanently destroy my eye. It, okay, yeah. good. There we go. Where, what's happening to you're this? You're scrolling a little bit with the mouse. So if you scroll around. Oh, your mouse is so. It's very sensitive. Very sensitive. Yeah, I know. It's like me in high school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we can zoom way in. This is. Oops. That's now okay. How do we move the... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Or you can hold down the space bar key on your keyboard. Wait, wait, wait. I have to get you in better. Yeah. The space so, bar yeah, key. Yeah, the space bar key, and then you click and drag. Oh, that's even easier. It's easier. Yeah, I, I, like, I that like that method better. So you want to click and drag like a rectangle, and you want to make sure it covers the eye. There we go. Yep. And then just cover the whole eye. Oh, yeah. Okay. And let go. And there we go. It's pretty good, right? You think you can do the other one? More than likely. <laughs> Why doesn't it stay where I first put it? Takes a little bit of getting used to it. You're doing great. I think that looks great. I think you did it. No, there's still some red on top. Some red on the top there? Oh, no. <laughs> well, we have two choices. 
Either give Aaron a black eye or a red eye. I got another way of doing it for oh, you. Oh, How, good. How's that? Oh, I'm glad. So let's go ahead and use the brush tool, okay? So let's hit B on your keyboard for the brush tool. Just click and drag wherever on the color that you want. There we go. Like right there looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, so hit okay. And that's gonna be your new color now. All you have to do now is just click on each of my eyes. So go ahead and click once there. Boom. You're natural. No, it's gonna look good, I promise. Oh. Right now it looks a little bit scary spooky. Like I hurt you. you <laughs> I'm right here. Oh. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> You're still adorable. Well, thank you very much. Extremely creepy picture. Go ahead and click on that, normal, and go down to almost to the bottom where it says color. And look, we have a little preview there too. Oh gosh, that's great. And click on the little eyeball next to the layer for your before and after. And if the effect is like too strong, I think the eyes look like a little bit greenish. Well, your eyes are a little bit greenish, darling. <laughs> okay, then we're good. <laughs> I think we're really good. You think we're good? Okay. Yeah, because if we look at your eyes and put a light on them, they're really dark green. They're really dark green. If you did want to change the color here, by the way, you can simply change the color in your color picker and then put, put a new color. So like if you wanted- Or you could get contact lenses. Or you could get contact lenses. There we go, and then you can click and drag your image. To where? I Just to the center so you can see the whole thing. Okay, like, the, oh, the whole thing. Okay, yeah, got it'll it, Yeah, just got move it, it in it, your it, screen. Nice. Is there anything else you wanna do this image? I would like to erase, since this is a museum, they yeah. stamp your hand for admission, <laughs> and that's fine, but I you would like to de-stamp it. All right, Okay. so go ahead and just click on what you want to remove. Pretty good. I never knew you were a magician. Well, whoever made Photoshop is a magician. I'm just I'm just the guy using it. See how your brush is nice and small now? Yeah. So go ahead and click and kind of paint over that purple mark. There we Maybe go. Maybe I'm not that good a painter. You're doing great and the purple is disappearing. That's all there is to it. Well, I wish it were that it. easy to get rid of mistakes in quilting. <laughs> I know, I wish it were easy to get rid of that mistakes in life in general. In life, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. a good one. Oh, okay, cool. I'll just not do that again. I think it looks pretty good. You can okay. still see a His little bit of purple. nails look a little bit dirty. A little bit. That mm -hmm. might be beyond the scope of this tool. Okay. But let's see if you can take away the green on the other All hand. All right, we can do that. You, yeah, got that. With this tool, it generally works better if you try to do a little bit less at a time. See oh. how you did the whole hand there? Yeah. And it's kind of too much? Because the tool uses the rest of the hand to sample. Okay, okay, so, to get your background color. Yeah. Pretty good. But it's still not good enough. It's not perfect. Not like you. Well, <laughs> this is where things get a little bit more advanced, but you can okay. do it. All okay. right, so we're gonna use our brush tool. So hit B on your keyboard for the brush tool. Perfect. And then you're gonna hold Alt or Option. So you see where it says Option right there? Mm -hmm. See how you got a little eyedropper now? Yeah. You can click on any color and it's gonna select that color. There we go, that's a good color. So you only have to click once. So select just one good color. Okay. Oh, nope, hit, no. hit undo there. So hold hold that button down. Nope, 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 on your I, keyboard, sorry, uh, I should have been more. So we gotta undo now. Okay. <laughs> so we go to new layer again. Okay. You're doing great. So <laughs> we hit, yep, cool. Now you don't need this anymore. Okay. What nope. you're gonna do, you can paint a little bit and then change, that's perfect, let's try there. Go ahead and, uh, I know it doesn't look great. Nope, you don't need to do that <laughs> because that, that area is already good. Oh no. <laughs> fun. <laughs> Just put a new arm on me. Uh, All right. Okay. We better undo that. Okay. 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 We're going to change how this blends in with the background. Kind of okay. like what we did with the eyes. Click there. We're going to put that to hue, which is almost at the bottom. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. There we go. Do I have to keep pushing the thing Yeah, you got to push oh, it down. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you got to push it down. This is a really good lesson for beginners because I don't know anything. <laughs> so then you won't feel funny with asking questions. That's exactly right. So there's a before, see so a purpley, and there's the after. We've got rid of some of that mm, purple. Yeah, not much, but yeah. At this point, personally, I would use the brush tool. Okay. Okay. So see at the very top where it says opacity and flow? Up at the very top there. Keep going to your left there. Keep going to your left even more, even more. Like, 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Up at the top, it says opacity and flow. Yes. Right there. There we go. So that's the color you're going to sample with, and now you're going to paint with that color. And keep the... Keep holding down. Yeah, see, look, you just painted right over there. Oh, that's much better. Like, just right there? Yeah. Perfect. And you don't even need to go that far, but that doesn't look that bad. Yeah. You did it. So now, see the other hand where it's darker? Yeah. Go ahead and click there. And now see if you can paint over the darker area. Not my whole hand, because keep in mind, this is going to just make my whole hand that color, right? So... Oh, I'm doing too much? Well, it's easy to do too much with this. It's, it's actually looking pretty good. See this dark patch on the bottom here? I think it is looking pretty good. I think it is looking pretty good, too. You're a natural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a naturally good sun. <laughs> so yeah. there's the before yeah. and the after. Tremendous. Couple more hours of this, and you're ready to start getting tired. <laughs> you're looking great. Thank you. All right. Oh. Last thing we're going to do here, see how it doesn't have any of the texture of the photograph yeah. itself? Yeah, yeah. So you want to add a little bit of noise to this or a little bit of grain to this. So another layer? Yep. Well, we're going to create another layer where it says contents. You're going to change that to 50% gray. Oh, interesting. There we go. Yeah, this is a little bit more of an advanced technique. Oh, my. But what we're going to do is we're going to add some grain to the whole photograph. Okay. And then we're going to only apply that grain over the hand. Okay, so okay, now so what? So let's hit okay right uh, there. Yeah. Okay, you're doing so great, by the way. So <laughs> now what we're going to do is turn this layer into a smart object. Go ahead and right click anywhere on that gray bar and go to where it says convert to smart object. Down a couple. Oh, yeah. Okay, you just made a smart object. Look at you. I did make a smart object. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and change that to soft light. Mm. Scroll down. It's kind of in the middle. There right we there. go. Now, see that slider there? It says yeah. amount to. Bring that slider up. You can just click and drag right there on the slider. To what? There we go. Uh, less than that. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, though. <laughs> That's pretty nice, huh? Keep going down a little bit more. Yeah, I guess so. Keep going down a little bit more. There we go. That's pretty, that's not bad. Let's go down a, a tiny little bit, bit more. more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, a little bit less. No. A little bit too far less. Yeah. It doesn't look just like a brush stroke, right? Yeah. It looks it like looks it fits natural. in. It looks natural. Yeah. So it added noise to the whole image, which in this case is not a big deal because it's kind of like an old scanned image. Right. But if you only want that noise to be visible in part of the image, you want to add a layer mask. Okay. Okay. And that just controls your visibility. So now what you do is you use your brush tool. If you paint with white anywhere on this layer, it's going to make that layer visible. Okay. You don't have to click anything else. Yep, just move your mouse and just paint right over my hand. And it's going to make it visible. You can see how the noise is becoming visible over the hand, right? Yeah. And you're done. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All righty. And then use your, uh, that's okay. You hold down the space bar. Just hit cancel right there. Hit cancel. Yep. And then hold down your space bar and then click and drag. So everyone can see your edit. Good job. Love you did it. it. Yeah. How your about first that? time in Photoshop. Woo. You're, you're champion. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any messages to anyone out there who might be their first time in Photoshop? Do it one step at a time. You know, oftentimes you look at an image and you see so many things wrong, it gets to be overwhelming. Yeah. But if you cut it down into, t you know, really small pieces and work at correcting that, I think that's a lot easier than being critical of the whole image. That's exactly right. We just do a bunch of little things and then they all add up yeah. to make a big result in the yeah, end. Yeah, because you still want it to look natural. Yeah. You just want to... You know, take away some of the oopy doos. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job, Mom. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Do you want to say, I'll flirn you later to the camera? I'll flirn you later. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. <laughs> <laughs>